here we are at South Glenmore Park. We're going to check out some sailboat action. Hopefully the weather holds and uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun today. We're here with Dave Temple Murray and uh, Dave, tell us a little bit about the club. I'm relatively new in this. I've been doing this for about a year. Started late last year and uh, thanks to uh, many of the people that uh, I sail with who got me encouraged into it. So what kind of boat do you have? I'm not sure of the actual model. Uh, Andrew got the boat from the coast and it's a used boat, but it's an IOM, an international one meter. It sails well, but you know, the thing that the, is the true humbling thing about this sport is that no matter how fast your boat is, if you don't know how to sail, it'll get you. And so you learn all the time. And so uh, you've been doing this for a few years now. Yeah. Uh, as the years go through, what do you do as far as improvements on your boat? In this particular case, virtually every time that you go out onto the water, you've got to make fine-tuning adjustments, right? Of course, all the rules of full-size sailing apply to the small sailing. Do you change things depending on the conditions? Of course, yeah. I mean, uh, the amount of camber that you put in the sail uh, it can be adjusted, right? So you can slide it forward and backward, as you can see. It's kind of like an airplane wing, where you can increase or decrease the camber of the wing. So in this case, uh, if the wind is blowing hard, you might want to tighten it up, and you might, may want to take some of the billow out of the sail. So you have to adjust both the mainsail and the jib. These old guys tell you what's happening. So. Um, if you see these things streaming along and they're uh, lying flush with the sail, especially on the lee side of the sail, tells you that the boundary layer is still attached. If you um, point too far away from the wind, you'll get separation, essentially it's stalling the wing and you'll, uh, you'll slow down. Let's go put her in the water. Four, yeah. Three, two, one. The biggest advantage to uh, sailing is strategy. Uh, you can make uh, some blunders if you're going in the wrong direction at a certain time, right? You find yourself in what's called luffing if the sail is flapping like a flag, in which case uh, you're stalled for all intents and purposes. And sometimes it takes 30 seconds or a minute to get the boat moving again, right? So you want to avoid that kind of a situation under all costs. When to sail and how to point it, where to do it, and how to sail around uh, all the rules of sailing will, um, in most cases, win or lose the race. Luke, can you fill us in on a bit of your strategy and what you're yeah. about to do? Uh, I'm sailing the green boat here, number 24. So the wind's all dropped off. We're all uh, trying to push our way around this windward mark. Andrew seems to have found the best way up there. The last boat has a slight advantage when you're going downwind because the wind is coming from that direction. So you can uh, see here I'm in the green boat, I'm trying to sit behind this yellow one and block all of his wind. Yeah. Oh no. That's not good. So I appear to have lost my keel. I don't have any lasso skills, so yeah, I'll do. Luke, I think your lasso skills are great. Luke, I'm really sorry about your boat. Oh, well, that's okay. It's a boat I borrowed from Andrew. <laughs> Don't tell him. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, concentration doesn't really seem to help much. With sailing, there's always different aspects of it. There's the skill, there's the maintenance, there's the service. And, uh, and it's a continuous thing. <laughs> As a courtesy, when you're still racing, uh, the other boats that have finished are, they usually simply get out of everybody's way that's still racing. I am on my own, everybody has left. And, um, but it's, um, it's very exciting when you're on your own because um, um, you worry that the batteries will finally fail and you'll be out there till whatever time. 
But yeah, that's it. We're done.